Hey guys, so you saw in my previous video that I'd uh, done the unboxing of the um, Raspberry Pi 2. So in this video what I'm going to do is, is go through the um, the initial setup of the operating system and actually get that booting. So the first thing we want to do is put your um, micro SD card in there. Um, now what I like to do is to just to make sure that there's no um, hidden partitions uh, I use a program called SD Formatter. So what this actually does is this just basically just destroys the contents of the disks completely. It doesn't matter what's on it, what partitions, what filing systems, everything is gone. So let's go ahead with that first. Okay, so there we go. So it's currently in XFAT. 58.5 gig so and just to show that windows boots now there you go now if we put that str straight into the pi uh, over 32 gig it doesn't boot correctly and then i've read uh, i read on a couple of the forums that people are having issues with the 64 gig card now the particular card i'm using here is um samsung and uh, i've already tested it. it works perfectly fine it's a nice quick card um so <coughs> let's uh, go through the install. So first of all, what you need to do is go over to the Raspberry Pi website, go over to Downloads. Now this might seem really funny because I actually tried the Noob install and I actually couldn't get it working. But it was I didn't realize at the time it was down to the partitioning of the um, of the 64 gig card. Now the one that I'm going to be testing today is the Raspbian um, operating system. Now this is a th uh, it's quite a big download, it's nearly a gig. So just to sort of save time, I've already downloaded it. But normally you, you'd say downloads it. So when you go into your downloads, that's what it will download. And then after you've extracted it, it creates an image file. Now, obviously, the disk image files need uh, an application to write out. So, what you need to do is, uh, if you don't have this particular program, Win32 Disk Imager. So, just Google that, uh, which produces this results, and then simply download that tool, and then it'll allow you to uh, write out the image. So, what we'll do is we'll launch that now. Hang on, what are you doing? Sorry about that. Right, there it is. <coughs> so just make sure that your USB pen is in the correct letter there. And then select the image to uh, write out. So we write out that one. And then we say write. Now I'm just going to quickly speed this up because it does take quite a while. Right, so we've written that out successfully. So let's have just have a quick peek, and just to make sure that that's written okay. So there we go, 55 meg partition. So what we'll do is we'll just confirm um, <coughs> that the other partition is empty. So if you just bring up your administrative tools, basically we just need to look at the storage manager. So you can get that out of com uh, computer management. And then go into um, disk management. And there we go, 3 gig um, and then a 55.5 unallocated space. So that's cool. So that's worked. So let's switch over to the Pi and we'll get it set up. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just pop the SD card into the Pi, which, and then we will turn it on. <coughs> So there it is booting. <laughs> S 
So the first thing we need to do um, is expand the storage, which is the first option, and that applies um, when you rebooted it. Um, so what we'll also do is we'll enable the boot into the desktop. So, and then we'll select the second one. So we we'll log on with user pi. Let's see what advanced options we've got. So we've actually got the host name of Raspberry Pi. That's fine. So what we'll do now is we'll just boot it back up again and hopefully this time it will go into the desktop. And there we have it. So I've got a little um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, USB dongle in there. So what I'm going to do first of all is um, <clears throat> because if you if you try and open up a um, web browser and try to visit say Google you're going to get this because it's not actually connected to a network so what we'll do is we're going to preferences go into Wi-Fi config <clears throat> so what we need to do now is go into the second tab so manage networks so I'll just zoom in a bit there just so you can see it And we hit scan and scan. So that's brought up my network. So what you want to do in here in the PSK field there is just put your um, Wi-Fi password in. So I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> and say add. So once it's actually listed there, then um, what you do then is then connect. So on the current status. And there we have it. So we're now connected. So if we go back over to his web browser and Yes, no. There you go. We are now online so just going through the menu we have <clears throat> all the programming languages there so you've got your python scratch sonic pi and wolfram um, so under here we've got the pi store and we've also got the web browser we've got a couple of games as well we've actually got minecraft which i thought was quite cool um, so i'm not particularly a fan of this um, myself but my son uh, absolutely goes crazy for it in all honesty I do not know why never understood it um, so I think the the starting time is pretty good actually considering the uh, performance of it but let's have a little um I think to be honest it actually let's just hack up that little flower there uh, hack up that little flower there I just don't get the point of it but there you go quit no quit go away thank you right i'll have none of that okay so um we've got python games as well so in his accessories, uh, we've got a calculator, filing manager, image viewer, PDF viewer, 
task manager obviously this is very 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 similar to the windows one shows you exactly what's running um, and we also have a terminal view which is quite good um, and here is obviously all your configuration settings you got command line and then you've got your shut down so this is what I'm going to do. So that was uh, an overall um, quick look at the Raspbian operating system running on a Raspberry Pi 2. Thanks for watching.